Go ahead in the back. Thanks, John. Um, the pace of Americans who are getting booster shots has dropped by more than 50% since December, and public health, uh, health experts are saying that one cause that might be behind that is confusion over the CDC's distinction between being fully vaccinated and being up to date on vaccinations. Um, folks with whom I've spoken say that initially describing the two dose regimen for mRNA vaccines may have been premature. Uh, given what we now know about variants and breakthrough cases, was it a mistake to say that people were fully vaccinated back last year before we knew what the virus is going to do next? Well, that it was not a decision made by the White House. It was a decision made by our public health experts at the CDC who make those definitions or determine those definitions. Uh, they've also said that the term fu fully vaccinated refers to your primary series. So that means being up to date on your vaccines, which is true if you have kids, I have kids, uh, making sure they're up to date. When they go to the doctor, you ask them if they need any shots. Uh, that is true of when you need a booster shot. You needed a set number of months, depending on what vaccine you got, uh, past your second dose. Uh, that's something we think American people are more than capable of keeping up to date on. It is also true that we think more people need to get boosters, that boosters are very effective in protecting uh, against serious illness, hospitalization, uh, and that uh, that is one of the most effective steps that can be taken. 70% of eligible seniors have gotten their boosters, but certainly it needs to be higher in other age groups. I do have one on the news today. I'm sorry. You got to go. Don't need to be sorry. It's okay. <laughs> You're doing your job. Um, so, if Justice Breyer were to retire, one of the last cases that he'll face as a member of the Supreme Court, obviously, will be Dobbs versus Jackson, which Court Watch is saying is likely to weaken or potentially overturn Roe v. Wade. If his potentially final opinion ends up being a dissent in the Dobbs case, what is the administration's plan to protect abortion access as best it can beyond trying to pass a congressional remedy, which I think, you know, unless you guys have 10 extra senators lying around, might not be able to be a filibuster? Well, without speaking uh, to uh, the future of the Supreme Court, uh, what I will reiterate is that uh, the president has been advocate for codifying Roe. Uh, that's something he certainly thinks and hopes that Congress will act on. Uh, we've also taken steps and have announced steps in recent uh, days even to for HHS to support, to amp up their support uh, for providers across the country. Um, and that's something we will continue to look for ways to do. But I'm not going to make a prediction of the outcome. Thanks, Thanks everyone.